Hi, so I made a video on the secret skincare product that I've been using. It's from Shawnee Darden. And listen, Ben wanted to try it too. Let's put it on him. I'm so excited to finally tell you, this is the Shawnee Darden Triple Acid Signature Pill. It's gonna have eight pods in here that's gonna last you up to three months. The neutralizing mask and then the brush. But let me show you. So here we have my darling Ben. We are going to do a close up, a before. So here's the before. So Ben did just cleanse his face off camera. We're gonna go ahead and start to put on the pill. So this first step is gonna resurface and brighten. I need some of that. <laughs> <laughs> Set the timer, one minute, time is up. So here's step two. This is the Kale and Clay Neutralizing Mask. I'm gonna put this directly on my hand and lather up my face. So it does tingle a little bit, but I'm told that's completely natural. <laughs> <laughs> 10 minutes on the timer. Time's up. All right, so now I'm gonna lightly wipe this off with a warm rag, and then I'm gonna finish up in the sink. That is not lightly. <laughs> it feels lightly to me. Bro, a friend, you need to just be like this, okay? Oh, is this light enough? That's <laughs> light enough. All right, and here's the after. But what you can't see is how soft it actually feels. Now you can shop the mask at shawneegarden.com or sephora.com. I don't think my skin's look this good in a long time. I'm telling you, it looks so good. All right, we both can't wait for you to try it. Happy masking. <laughs> Did you think that we weren't gonna do makeup today too? Well, if you weren't, here I am. Let's do makeup. And if you check out my skincare routines, you will see Shawnee Darden. Obviously that's a new product and I was able to test it for quite some time before I showed it to y'all. I wanted to make sure that it was spicy and y'all would like it. But you can check out my skincare routines on my saved highlights and you'll see Shawnee Darden there. She's actually one of my favorite brands. Her retinol, try it. If you're looking to add some more to your skin skincare routine or if you, or if you've ran out of something and you're like, hey, I wanna try something else. She's got good stuff. This part right here, not an ad. And then you'll see that the skincare was not an ad either. Just. Wanted to let you know. Now, since we absolutely just went feral yesterday, then we were a mermaid butterfly, <laughs> which I saved that to my highlights. Um, I'm just gonna do something really quick and easy. Um, also wanna try some new products. I've got some new stuff over here. So we're gonna try new products, but we're gonna do something a little bit less butterfly. <laughs> so while I was traveling, I discovered something. Now we've talked about this one before and I really do love it, especially if you have dry skin. Um, this spackle primer here from Laura Geller, this is the hydrate, but that's, I love that one, but that's not, that's not where we're going. I discovered something. I'm just gonna put it on one side of my face and I wanna show it to y'all. I wore this alone and I actually applied it. I did apply it with my all over care brush here from Anissa Beauty. Okay, you ready? I know, terrifying, right? wait for it to dry down. Look how pretty it looks underneath the eye too. And look, it just kind of warmed up my face. Remember, my face is always gonna be a lot more pale than my body. Retinol and all my other lotions and potions that I use. Look at this, look at this difference. It's so nice and no sparkles. So you can tell the difference and it's just so subtle, but it's sun-kissed and I just, I was wearing it and I just loved the way that it looked and I wanted to show y'all. I am, I will put something on top of this, but I was wearing it alone because it was so fast and we were just so busy. So this was really, really nice and it just kind of evened this out. I just loved it and it wore beautifully and it dries down and then it just feels like skincare. I, I loved it. So I wanted to tell y'all. I figured y'all wanna watch me put this on. I know it looks so terrifying, but then it just blends out so easily. Satisfying. And of course I'll bring it down my neck. Get the rest of what's on the back of my hand. Now, these are from About Face, and I actually haven't even used these yet. They've been over on my other vanity, 
and they were hidden under something. It was just a makeup mystery over there is what it is. But I'm so excited to try these. But I do want to explain this formula to you before we get into this. Now, I do know about formulas. Been doing this for a few days now. <laughs> and this is one that once it dries, it's going to set. So if you want to add more playtime to these and be able to blend them, a little bit of a tacky base underneath would be nice. And then you would still need to set it maybe just a little bit. Um, I'll teach you, but today we're gonna use this the way it's meant to be used and that's just by itself. Again, I know that might've confused you, but you stay tuned because I'll show you different ways to use this. But for now, we're gonna use this the way it's intended and that's by itself. So we're just gonna take the applicator and a little bit's gonna go a long way. Notice that I just put it mainly through here. It's gonna be easier to control and to buff. We need our E29 for this because we're actually gonna do some buffing motions. And the reason why is because I'm not, uh, I'm not gonna be disturbing a base underneath there. So I'll tap it just a little bit and then just a couple upward motions. Ooh, that's pretty. I do want you to notice that I'm still just not swiping back and forth. That could leave streaks. We don't want that. What a beautiful wash of color. This is a matte, but I think that I grabbed an E29 that has sparkle in it. So let me switch my E29 just so you can see it. I, I, I That was my fault. I put it back yesterday. I should have left it and sent it to be washed. So we have a different E29 now. This one's not gonna have sparkle. I just want you to make sure um, to see how the formula goes on. I guess I am using tapping motions. And the reason why that I mainly use them is because with this formula, even this formula, instead of a powder, when we swipe back and forth, sometimes it wants to lift that product and then you don't get to see how that product could have performed. This just ensures that I'm not sweeping that pigment back and forth and lifting it. That is so pretty and bronzy by itself. That's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I added one little dot back over here just to kind of cover up the sparkle. And I also did that because I wanted to see if you could layer it and I'm not having any patchiness. I'm not having any issues doing that. But I will say, I don't think it was completely dry. So once it's completely dry and I'm talking two minutes or so, it might be a little harder to layer but we were able to layer this up with those pressing motions. And now I'm just gonna buff this transition area just to make sure that it's smooth. Remember, there's no primer underneath. You don't really need it with this formula. And I will show you what I'm talking about eventually with the other primer, because then this just kind of turns into a base, but right now it's a shadow. I'm a visual person too, so I'm sorry if I'm confusing you. I will just do a tutorial. This is beautiful, and I can probably find a dupe, but if you already have it, it's nice, isn't it? <laughs> it's from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Color Chameleon Golden Quartz for Hazel Eyes. But what I'm gonna do is I did run it along my waterline. I'll just kind of shut my eye. There we go. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab it on an E27, and this is a really, really easy technique. And then just kind of push it into your lashes. Isn't that pretty? Grab a little bit more and just push it here. Done. Now, if y'all have ever wondered why I mainly wear falsies is because to get my mascara to look very spicy, it's actually more work than just throwing on a falsy. Um, but you know what? I could do an updated tutorial for y'all. We'll do an updated mascara tutorial, but it is a process. And I just find that's easier. 
So let's try this out. I do have to mix two shades, which is unfortunate because this alone is too dark. And I have a bunch here. I have so many different shades. The other ones are just too golden on me, too warm. Um, I have to mix 09 and 04. So here we go. But that's pretty nice. Yes. Get out of here, you little frazzler. Okay. Let's just put it right there. Now, I will say with this formula, I can already tell I wouldn't recommend a sponge because it's a very marshmallowy, squishy texture. And adding the water to that might change it. Um, I would recommend a brush with this formula for sure. Oh, the match is so good. Yes. <laughs> I don't know why I'm this way. That's now that's nice. It's real blurring. But I always want to say if you are using a sponge and it is working, please continue to do so. For me, I would just prefer a brush, especially with this type of formula. I know this formula, I've seen this formula. <laughs> it's really pretty though. I haven't done a wear test. But we'll see where we end up. I will say that by now, I can usually tell after three hours of where this is headed. It's really pretty. Let's see if we can build it up just a smidgey here. Yep. It looks very natural. I like it. Let's wash this melt in. It definitely covers, but it doesn't feel heavy. That's really fun. Oh, it's just unfortunate. I find that my skin tone here, this pinky neutral situation, I normally do have to mix things. Obviously we could correct it. I'm sure that y'all have seen lots of those videos, but when I'm trying something out, I wanna see. That way I can tell you, you might have a similar skin tone to me and you'll wanna know. And then you can decide. Do I want to buy two or would I rather just find something that has a really nice undertone by itself without buying two? Get that red ear out of here. Now we're going to grab the same E29. It doesn't absorb the product, so we can switch back and forth. And we're going to clean up and just go around my brows. Clean up this top part a little bit. See, it just kind of melts it together. Just letting it run. It's kind of enjoyable. And I feel like you can learn something when you see it all the way through. So Say sent me this and I feel like I tried it, but maybe I had too dark of a color. I don't know what happened. Let's act like this is the first time. Let's see what we think here. I feel like I have enough coverage everywhere else, especially for how mild this look is. Aside from the lashes, I know, I know. Rose cannot be tamed sometimes. And let's just use that same E29. Believe it or not, this is actually one of the most versatile brushes that we have. Just using the side of it. Yeah, I thought that paired nicely with our blur situation. It's pretty. Not a lot of pigment, which means it's really nice for an everyday concealer. I'm gonna use the Maybelline powder. This is the Fit Me. And I'm gonna even that out on the puff. I want y'all to see where it's at. See how there's no lumps in it? And then you'll see exactly where it is on the puff. And then we'll just go ahead and set the under eye. I want a little bit more coverage. 
So I feel like that concealer and this powder would be perfect. Yeah, so smooth. I feel like we don't think about it, but if we have a concealer and we're wanting a little bit more coverage, just be more mindful of the powder that you're using. The one I'm using right now actually adds more coverage to the concealer. So it's a really good way to get more coverage without adding more concealer. So I really think I'm liking this affordable combination of this, okay, and then the Maybelline powder. It's real nice. Go ahead and take down that shine. And then I'm just setting the center. Because I will say this, this type of formula, when I say this, I'm talking about this. If you have dry skin, I don't recommend setting the outer perimeter, just kind of set the under eye and very lightly through the center of the face. I feel like we don't need to really take this down. It's not really gonna go anywhere if you have dry skin. If you have oilier combination, you could go ahead and set the rest of the face but I think I'll just skip it. I didn't have enough for that to do anything, but I just wanted to do a demo for you. Let's finish up the eyes. You know, I'm not gonna say that I'm just loving the concealer, but you know what? Listen, listen. I might just not like that concealer with what we have going on here. I might've wanted just a different concealer. It's so important for us to just not be incredibly negative against products. Let's just give them a fair chance. You got to try it at least three times with different things. Or just let me do that and then I'll figure it out for you. Now, let's grab this. Where that concealer didn't cover this warmth. It's going to cancel out the darkness that I'm seeing. the little meme of the little toad the little horny toad he um he's all like chunky whenever i say the he 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 that's what i'm thinking of in my head and that's what i'm wanting to look like <laughs> i'm gonna get wild and i'm gonna let y'all into my life a little you ready so every so often i go to my favorite coffee shop it's called soul freak i'm gonna tag them um, and recently I have been getting London Fogs. Do y'all know what that is? Um, if not, it's Earl Grey tea with steam milk. It's wonderful. I'm very excited. But I'm just sitting here thinking, that's where I'm going to go once I'm done here. Mm -hmm. It's wonderful. I'm excited. Listen, this is a really good bronzer for the price. It's really good. It's from Maybelline. It's your city bronzer. Let me double check the color. This is 200 one, two, three, C40. And it's melted in. I want you to notice how I'm holding the brush though, this side towards the ear, pressing that in. You just saw it melt in right before your eyes. Just put a little bit here just to match the chest. And then a little bit here. Nice. Gorgeous, right? It's a Too Faced blush. I know this color is very intimidating. Don't be intimidated. It's just how you pick it up on the brush. Um, the brush does matter. It does. But just be mindful of how much you're picking up. I picked up one tap, you'll see it there. That Jean Bean hair right there is really gonna add to the look. I'm not taking it off, that's my baby. Oof, that is stunning. Gorgeous. I'm gonna add one more tap, tiny little amount. Somewhere on my face that Jean Bean hair has planted itself. <laughs> Add a little here. Mm 
and then I'm just evening this out to make sure it matches the other. Listen, Revlon Bare Affair, it's nice. Do you see this? I really like it. I like it. Let's find a lip liner. We're gonna keep the lip liner pretty close to the lipstick, just a smidgey darker. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. These are wonderful from Bucks, and by the way. Okay, this looks nice. I like everything. Um, again, the concealer, I don't think it enjoys mixing with this very marshmallowy texture, so we'll try it with a, with a regular liquid foundation. So stay tuned for that. Um, the blush is, I love it. I love y'all so much. Do remember that on the weekends, I don't do the tutorials. I do them Monday through Friday. Um, I also don't post on Saturdays. It's my one day that I kind of just sit down and eat dinner because I normally post at dinner time, so I'm always on my phone. But Saturday is my one day that I sit down and I eat and we do something special at home. Um, I love y'all so much. I love you, love you, love you, love you. And don't get worried if I disappear because I'm back Sunday evening, 7 p.m. Central. Tonight I am posting, I'm posting again that mask that you just saw that's gonna be an ad, um, but I love it. And that's the secret that I had to keep from y'all because it wasn't even released yet. And I love doing that. It's very important that I try things out for quite some time before I share them with y'all. Okay, I'm going to go finish editing up some stuff and I'm going to film another part of the color correcting eyeshadow series and I love you.